I stepped up in the game on a high note. I'm going up just like a staircase with a spiral. Need a technician just to handle all this pyro. So it is 2023. This is the first time you guys have seen me this year. I have braces. My lips are shiny. I'm in the garage. Good times. Good, good times. Brian has a big, beautiful picture from Chris H that he's trying to figure out where it needs to go. Shout out to Chris H for making this dope tattoo picture. I got to show y'all up close and personal though. Hold on, because I don't even know what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's so dope. Everybody did butt dropper. I know, right? I think I think I think I was in, working in Virginia at the time. Yeah. 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 So, anywho, uh, like I said, it's been a while. I'm back. I've missed a lot. You guys have missed a lot. Things have been missed. I miss you all. Hopefully, y'all miss me too. But if not, I don't give a damn because thug life. Anywho, uh, finally getting this bad boy put together. This is the rod and piston motor that will be going to Honda Lisa. Um, kind of already have made some headway as far as putting things together. We got to gap the rings, put the rings in here. I am going to take one of my many <laughs> uh, K series VTEC heads and put it in there. Um, not really rushing because. Since you guys have last talked to me, I haven't really told y'all what, what the plan was, but the goal is to go all-wheel drive in Honda Lisa. Initially, I was going to have to get everything from Japan because there is a CLA, what we know as an Accord overseas is, I mean, what we know as a TSX overseas is an Accord. So what we would know as a CL8 TSX, which we didn't get the CLA uh, chassis code, is an Accord over there. And it came in all wheel drive format. So literally, I can take all of the components, the gas tanks, the subframe and spindles, disconnect mine from my car, connect the ones from the CLA, bada bing, bada boom, and all wheel drive. But now, S1, which, let me throw a little shade real quick, because I definitely hit them up before they started doing this car and asked them about doing an Accord. And <laughs> I most definitely asked them, and they were like, nah, that'd be too much woo-woo. But then they started doing one, some, somebody has a silver coupe, and their car's from Georgia too. And uh, if you go look at S1 Performance's page or S1 Built, you will see that they are uh, literally doing an Accord, 7 Gen Accord, all-wheel drive. So because they're doing that, more than likely what will happen is, I, when, once that kit is developed, I will just get that kit. I already have a all-wheel drive trans over there somewhere in that bucket is the gear set. But I am going with the, uh, what is it, Gear X? Uh, one through four or PPG, whichever one that, whichever one that uh, James uh, recommends. Our wonderful tuner James, any mini mighty mo, told me to get. Um, and I will be all wheel driving. I will have that that motor right there with uh, rods and pistons. Do some springs and retainers. I might I might not necessarily do cams because I'm boosting. I don't really you know need them per se for my power goal, but. Uh, yeah, my thing is I want Honda Lisa to be the ultimate street accord sleeper mobile. I'll be able to give all the digs and uh, hurt lots of feelings from a dead stop, not just a roll. And uh, so now that S1 is making a kit, it will make it a little bit easier to do that. So that is a development there. Um, the last motor that was in Honda Lisa, I don't even know if I showed y'all, but the last motor that was in there spun a bearing, so there's nothing in there now. Well, it was just sitting in my backyard. Then a guy had sold a complete 04 Accord swap on on uh, the Facebook Marketplace for 600 bucks. So I bought it, not really sight unseen, but I didn't even really test it or go through it or anything. I turned it over with a, uh, with, a with a ratchet. It rotated. I was like, all right, here goes $600. I put it in the car on my driveway, and I don't have third gear, but I drive it every day. I don't have an exhaust. <laughs> yeah, you got an exhaust. <laughs> no exhaust, no third gear. But it runs great other than not having third gear in an exhaust. So, uh, yeah, Honda Lee's is just a daily driver right now. I found another Accord that I'm probably going to pick up and make a daily. So that way I can focus on doing things in Honda Lee's like doing the uh, return style fuel system and so on and so forth. But, uh, yeah, that's a maybe. I'm, I'm going to see what happens with that. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I just needed to update y'all. So, like I said, stuff is happening. I'm getting ready to... Uh, Probably over the next couple of weekends, have the bottom end put all the way together. Maybe even have a head slapped on it without putting the uh, the uh, valve train stuff in it. So that way we can at least uh, get all of the components on the side and stuff. And I need to give me a new timing chain probably. I think that was the problem with that uh, the JDM motor over there. The one with the yellow valve cover. It didn't have a yellow valve cover on it when I was driving it. But y'all remember the one that was giving me that uh, P P0340 or whatever it was? Absolute pain in the in the junk, in the, in the private parts. Um, 
yeah, I'm just kind of rambling, but uh, I'm just trying to get, keep you guys abreast of all the situations going on here with the great garage at the Seekers Garage. Um, does anybody want to buy a tag? This will be for sale. I'm blocking some stuff with my head because some stuff will not be on there when it's for sale, but it will be a stock Integra if anybody's looking for one. Um, yeah, 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 oh yeah, it's still, it's still, uh, right, the, the little RPF funds are not gonna be on there. <laughs> what do we call, you know, they call it a knockoff TE37, they're like tee hee hee. Yeah, I don't know what to call a knockoff RPF one. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, long story short, again, as you can see, I had already started on this bad boy, so I already got the uh, the crank in and stuff. So, like I said, progress has been made, very slight progress. This little little surface from just sitting up or whatever, I'm able to get that out. But um. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Mikey is having a car meet right now. I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm, I'll probably stop by because he's by the house. Because the, the car meet is by the house. But uh, a little chilly outside. So at the first meet of the year, uh, Mikey decided to put something together. And uh, I get here, and you see that Rolls Royce. Ha! <laughs> we ain't worried about that. But we see Honda Lee's over there next to uh, Flyswatter. So we got some uh, some heavy hitters out here, as y'all can see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it's a beautiful turnout. Um, especially for it to be a cold day in February. It's like February, it's February 3rd. And uh, we got a bunch of stuff out here. I'm about to turn the camera around and show y'all what's going on out here. Get y'all some little, little footage. And uh, this will be the conclusion of the first episode back for the first episode of 2023 of The Great Garage. But I just figured, cause uh, I'm out here, Brian's on, actually on the way up here as well. We just get a little footage and show y'all what's going on. But yeah, we had a, had a real nice turnout out here. I didn't hit the gym to get this weight off. But don't you fetch ain't me to get your hate off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not in bad shape. This is a dad shape. I go to work, then go straight home. This is that dad way. Yeah, I pull a lot of hours at my dad job. I ain't fat. Nope, no, this a dad bod. Yeah, yeah. Got a dad bod. 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 You got more cushions for the pushing. There's more backing for the hacking. I know I look real out of shape, but baby. street light it looked like i'm in a old criminal movie from the 50s or something anyways i made it to the house that was a very successful meet thank you mikey for putting that bad boy together uh y'all know the business like share comment subscribe all that good stuff and as always don't be good be great up like an elevator headed to the pit feeling superman call me chopper kent got me bent if you thinking you can overthrow my squad oh my god no face shaking when you